Hey guys, welcome to this new TFL series we're calling Boom or Bust. And like any business, TFL is a business and it tends to trend up and it tends to trend down. So Tommy, how long have we been doing this? We've been doing this for 10 years on YouTube now. Yeah, it's a long time. And in that time, we've seen a lot of YouTube creators, and we're calling them businesses because this is what this is, businesses either trend up or trend down. And in this series of videos, we're going to be talking about some of the favorite YouTube creators, some of the favorite business channels that you watch. And we're going to be talking about two things, whether they're trending up and how many views they're getting. Basically looking at it from a business analytical point of view, Tommy. Uh, and what kind of YouTubers are we looking at today in this first episode? Well, because we are in the automotive space, we're looking at the automotive space, obviously, but there's actually a bunch of different kind of categories that you can kind of figure out within this space. So you've got the guys that are, you know, and gals that are doing straight up car reviews, and then you've got more of like the vloggers, the car vloggers, and you have, um, you know, the people doing um, restorations and builds. So today we are looking at the channels that are primarily focused on straight up car reviews. Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to be looking at first the channels that are trending up and we're going to give you two numbers uh, how many views they're getting each month and what percentage they're trending up and this is over the last month because we're using social blade which is a tool that lets you actually sit, see those numbers it's a really kind of an interesting analytical tool then we're going to be talking about the channels that are trending down and then of course because we're transparent we're going to let it, you know what our five channels are doing so let's get this going Tommy let's talk about the channels that are trending up Yep, so Shmi150 had a really good month. He is, of course, based out of the UK, and he has seen a pretty big increase in views over the last 30 days, a really big increase in views, a 62% increase. Yeah, according to Social Blade, uh, and that means he's getting about 12.3 million views a month. Uh, and, of course, you know, views equals revenue on YouTube, uh, and Social Blade gives you a range of revenue, uh, and the range is so wide that it's almost un practical as a real number, so we're not going to be talking about that. Uh, but 12.3 million views is a significant number. Of course, Shmi specializes in uh, supercar reviews, mm -hmm. uh, so he's one of those uh, YouTube creators who not only does reviews of new and upcoming models, but he also buys his own cars yep. uh, and then reviews them, takes them to crazy places, uh, and this month he's done really well, so congratulations. And here is what his graph looks like over the course of the last few years, so you can kind of see where that sits in, in terms of monthly views. Yeah. Yeah, next one is um, KBB, and these are structured not in terms of monthly views, but in terms of what percentage of increase they've had. And KBB, of course, is, um, well, they started out as a car dealership, and now they're basically Kelly Blue Book, and Micah over there does their video views, and he's become a good friend of mine, so congratulations, Micah. Uh, they're up 45%. Among other reviewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lynn's there as well, yeah. yeah, yeah there's a sure. bunch of people there. Uh, they're up 45% to 3.2 million views per month. Uh, Micah uh, and the team over there do a really good job of doing these reviews that never stop moving, right? So yeah. when you see the review, Micah's always walking and it's what video does really well. It's motion and they do a great job. Uh, so congratulations on uh, being up 45% over the last month. Um, and keep in mind, KBB is one of those websites that uh, has a monetization policy basically built on getting people to the website, either giving them car values and then forwarding uh, leads to dealerships. That's their model. So uh, I think their video is not the main part of their business, but it is uh, one of the more traditional car review channels out there. So that's what we included in this list. Yep. And here is what their YouTube progress graph looks like for the last couple of years. Yeah. And keep in mind, over a month, it's hard to say, but over a much longer time, it gives you a better kind of snapshot of how the channel is doing. All right, what's next, Tommy? This is a big one, and they're up, and they are one of the biggest car review sites out there right now. Yeah, so this is CarWow, another UK-based site. The, the views for the last 30 days were over 41 million, which is a really substantial number. Yeah, it's up 24.4%, and what CarWow has been able to do, which I'm jealous of, is they've been able to do these really crazy cool drag races uh, where yeah. basically Matt Watson takes cars uh, that we can only dream about and puts them on an airstrip, I believe, and drag races them to see which one is not only fastest in the quarter mile, but over a much longer period and uh, very entertaining. Um, I think one of my favorite videos that they recently did was they took uh, three Suzuki uh, Sammies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, Jimmies. Jimmies. 
Jimneys. Jimneys, yeah, not the Sammies, the Jimneys. And they did a tug of war against the G Wagon. I thought that was extremely clever. Uh, and that video got a lot of views. So, um, yeah, much respect to Car Wow. Uh, once again, that's another site that's a business. The video uh, drives a lot of car buyers to the website where uh, they monetize car views uh, by passing leads over to dealerships. So once again, I don't, I don't think that the YouTube channel is their main business, but they're doing so well. It might just be their main business. Yeah, and here is their upward progression for the last couple of years, and you can see it's been pretty much steady up the whole time. So yeah. they're, they're doing really well. Yeah, and uh, you know, they're up there with some of the other channels we'll be talking about in terms of monthly views, but 41.7 million monthly views is huge. All right, what's next, Tommy? Next we have the smoking tire. Yeah, that's Matt uh, Farah, and he's up 22.5% uh, up to 2.5 million views. Uh, and Matt was up much higher over a longer period of time if you look at the graph. But I think that uh, he went away from the one takes mm -hmm. uh, and started doing more of the podcast. And I, I think those podcasts, at least on YouTube, weren't connecting with people in the same way that the one takes were. Um, so, um, you know, coming back to one takes, doing more uh, regular video reviews as opposed to kind of sitting around a table like we are and talking <laughs> has, has proven successful. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what's next, Tommy? The next channel on our list is Edmunds. Yeah, Edmunds is once again another one that their YouTube business is not their biggest part of their business. Uh, they're uh, up 18.8%. Over the last month, uh, 1.8 million views. Uh, Dan Edmonds over there is actually getting into doing a lot of off-roading reviews, which has kind of been our territory. But <laughs> I enjoy watching you know, a different take on off-roading. Yeah. Uh, so it's fun to watch him uh, take stuff off-road. They also do comparison videos. Uh, and uh, I think over time, you know, like I said, we've been doing this 10 years, I'm seeing that, that even if YouTube isn't the main part of their business, uh, they're becoming more and more involved in YouTube because it's really where it's going. Um, so yeah, they're up and um, we're competing with them, but congratulations on a lot of your great off-road and truck reviews. Yeah, they're doing a great work over there. Um, so next up on our list is probably one you've heard of, at least from their TV show, but that of course is Top Gear, and we're of course referring to the YouTube channel. Yeah, and that's the biggest YouTube channel on this list of, of reviews, uh, 43.7 million monthly views. That is a staggering number, and that, I guess, makes sense. I mean, they're the world's most popular car show. Uh, they have a video production team, and so while their main business is in YouTube, right. uh, it certainly is something that is not maybe in their wheelhouse, but right next to their wheelhouse. Uh, they're up... Um, 13.6%. They also do very similar stuff to Car Wow. They do a lot of uh, drag races. Yeah. Uh, a lot of kind of interesting uh, and unique car reviews. So, yeah, those guys are um, the 800 pound gorilla in our world. And, and, and they also do a lot of original content for YouTube as well. So, it's, it's not just stuff from the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and my only criticism, Tommy, would be I've been watching the new uh, Top Gear. I can't understand what those two guys are saying. When you, have to, <laughs> when you actually have to font and close caption English, in English, you know that the accents are heavy. Yeah. And I get really frustrated because I'm like, what did he just say? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Um, next on our list is uh, where Emmy ended up from our team. Yeah, uh, so that's CNET Roadshow. So they are up this month 12.4%. Yep. Uh, and they're doing well. Yeah, they're up to 1.4 million views. Now CNET is owned by CBS. Uh, and so once again, um, YouTube is not their main business. Uh, but they do a lot of great gear reviews. Um, and uh, you know they uh, are out there putting out a lot of videos. A lot of content. A lot of content. I, one of the things that is a little astounding is YouTube has gone to longer format videos, so anything over 10 minutes. The reason people do videos over 10 minutes, by the way, is because you can stick ads into the video as opposed to just in front of it. Uh, and somehow Roadshow is still doing much shorter content, uh, so maybe they haven't got the message yet, or maybe it's not that important to them. I mean, CBS is once again a big company. We should also point out that CNET has their own YouTube channel. We're talking about the Roadshow YouTube channel. Right, of course, yeah. CNET, of course, does phone reviews, and that's a different right. channel. That's a whole different it's world. A, it's huge, yeah. So we're talking about Roadshow, which is their specific car review YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, next is our buddy Matt Moran. Congratulations, Matt. He's up 7.5%, 1.3 million views. He concentrates on doing a lot of news yeah. uh, videos, uh, recaps, uh, car prototype hunting videos. And he's been pushing a lot of the new car reviews recently as well. 
um, and he's doing a great job at you know doing thorough reviews of these vehicles. Yeah, and he's uh, we picked a lot of the um, automotive video award guys uh, and included him in this list because we're part of the ABA, so he's part of the ABA, so uh, we wanted to include him. Uh, the next one is probably the channel that has broken <laughs> the mold on actually doing car reviews, and who's that, Tommy? So that's regular car reviews. Yes. And they do some really creative work. I mean, they're just like a creative powerhouse in terms of what they're doing. So they were up 6.1% in the last 30 days, and here is their progress graph for the last couple of years. Yeah, 3.26 million monthly views, and if you look at the progress graph, what you'll notice is um, that, you know, it's a lot of up and down, uh, and oftentimes um, the monthly views are determined by the success of any given video. So if you can actually crank out a video that goes viral and does really well, uh, then your graph tends to spike up. Over the last month. Over the last month. And so, you know, you, you can't look at just the last month, but for the sake of this video, that's what we're doing. All right, next on our list is a couple of new guys, a couple of Canadians, eh? <laughs> yeah. Who are these? So this is uh, the Throttle House, and what is really remarkable about them is just how fast they've grown in such a short period of time. So within the last year, they've really exploded which is super impressive so they do typically shootouts they're two Canadian guys they do shootouts they're up to 3.4 million views a month which is up 4.3 percent over the last 30 days yeah one of the things that they managed to do which is interesting is of course that first like minute of the video is entertaining right uh, so before they get into the review they do kind of a little skit uh, and a lot of the time it's just fun to watch um, and they do manage to oftentimes get two cars or three cars that are competing uh, and th that's not easy to do you guys sometimes are in the misconception that we can just snap our fingers and get whatever vehicles we want together uh, and it's really hard to get vehicles together especially if you don't own them uh, and if you're not buying them so if you have to go to the manufacturers or the press fleet uh, doing what they do is not easy so I, I'm betting they're spending a lot of time doing logistics. Yeah. All right, next is of course another heavyweight on YouTube at least in terms of uh, monthly views. Who is that? So it's Doug DeMiro. Uh, he is up to get this 26 million eight hundred fifty eight thousand views in the last 30 days 26.8 million yeah that's so number. that's up 2.1 percent you can see his progress graph as well since january has has once again been a pretty consistent upwards trend yeah and then he's kind of leveled off over the last several months um, and of course maybe that is because he started more doug demiro another youtube channel so he's actually taken it a step beyond his normal youtube stuff uh and you know i don't know what real um percentage of these views come from the YouTube algorithm. Mm -hmm. You can kind of guess that by looking at the analytics to some extent, but all I can tell you is every time I watch a video, YouTube puts up a Doug DeMiro video, uh, and so I think YouTube is certainly putting their finger on the scale to some extent. And of course, we're not talking about whether these channels are actually paying to promote their videos. Right. Um, that's another conversation, uh, but uh, certainly the YouTube algorithm has a huge role in actually who's uh, doing what. and you know, how much they're increasing. And, and nobody knows, of course, what that role is because YouTube keeps it very secret. Right. So the next channel on our list is Cars.com. Yep. They were up 1.8% for the last 30 days, up to over a million views now. Um, and once again, very thorough YouTube reviews on everything new car. Yeah, I know those guys really well. They're out of Chicago, my old hometown. So, yep. uh, you know, uh, once again, their uh, business is not YouTube videos. They're, once again, they're in that business model where they're sending leads to, uh, uh, car dealers, so uh, they're monetizing the advertising on the website, and really it's the website that is making the money on the YouTube channel. It's probably an auxiliary business, but it's becoming bigger and bigger over time. But it's worth noting, part of cars.com, YouTube channels, also pickuptrucks.com. Yep. So they also do, you know, really great truck reviews on that channel as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark Williams used to do their w reviews, mm -hmm. just moved over to Motor Trend, so, you know. Once again, a lot of movement happening in the industry. All right, so those are the ones that we noticed were trending up this month, and there were a couple that were uh, trending down, and we want to talk about these guys as well. Um, the ones that bar that's barely trending down are the straight pipes. They're 0.1%, uh, so that's pretty much that's flat. flat. 5.6 million. Um, they've got some competition from Throttle House, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> You've got Yuri now competing with the other Canadian guys. Yep, Yuri and Jacob. But you will see that if you look at the longer term, the progress graph, I mean, it's been really impressive. Yeah, and you guys might be wondering why aren't, aren't we talking about subscribers? Uh, because subscribers really aren't that meaningful in terms of 
uh, how the channel is monetized and how the channel is doing. You can have uh, YouTube channels with tremendous amounts of subscribers, but it doesn't equate to tremendous amounts of video views, which is what equates to revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason for that is just because you're a subscriber to a YouTube channel doesn't mean that you're notified when the YouTube channel puts on a new video. You have to actually ring the bell and you have to opt in for that. Right. Uh, and so uh, subscriber is, is more of a, a chest beating uh, uh, exercise, you know, my chest is bigger than your chest, uh, but it's not really relevant when it comes to the number of uh, dollars you're making every month. Yep, that's true. Okay, so our next channel on this list is uh, Redline Reviews, so Sofian. Yep. And he is down just a little bit this month, 5.7%. But once again, another channel that has made huge strides in the last year and a half. He's up to 5.3 million views every month now. Yeah, he went another guy, another aviator, so we know him well. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's, uh, he's, you know, he's he's kind of taken up the mantle from where Saab Kyle left off and, and does very thorough um, car buyer reviews. And the next guy on this list, of course, is another car buyer review, and that is our friend Alex from Alex on Autos. Uh, he's down 5.8 percent to two million monthly views. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, car buyer reviews are based on the car you're reviewing, right? If the car is super popular, like the new Corvette, then you're probably going to get a lot of traffic. And if the car isn't very popular in terms of buyers, then you're probably not going to get a lot of traffic. So you kind of live and die by the kind of cars that you're reviewing because people are going to car buyer reviews uh, because they're interested in buying the car, not because they're interested in necessarily getting a lot of entertainment. Yeah, and now I uh, just want to let you guys know that, of course, one of our key points of uh, our editorial processes that were always transparent, so we, of course, included our five channels in this list uh, so that you know where we're at. Right. Uh, so, Tommy, you want to go down those? Yeah. So, our... Um, so, your channel... Our biggest growth this month was TFL Classics, which is up 116.7%, but that's because... Congratulations. Yes, but that's because I haven't really posted anything for, like, the last two years. <laughs> so, I've started posting videos on that channel. But yeah, I mean, if, if you like classic cars, go check out TFL Classics. It's a channel we're, we're rebuilding again. Yeah, yeah, because now you're out of college and you actually have time to post classic videos. Our next channel, uh, TFL Off-Road, uh, kind of our next newest channel, uh, that's Steve up in Canada, our Canadian bureau chief. It's up 28.8% to 1.7 million views. Yep. And keep in mind, a lot of you may be wondering what's the difference between classics and off-road, and basically off-road is our power sports channel, so that's side-by-sides, personal watercraft, uh, and you know any, any kind of trucks that go off-road. Uh, but for the most part, it's meant to be a power sports channel, motorcycles yeah. and such. And you may be wondering why you see like off-road reviews on truck and off-road. Um, ideally, TFL off-road would be all power sports. Yep. But you know, we're trying to get into that world and we're trying to move toward that. So you will see some kind of, of the extreme off-roading truck stuff on TFL off-road. Yep. And then next, of course, is uh, TFL car, uh, our first and main channel. Uh, that is up 11.7%. Um, up to six million monthly views, and that's probably based on the strength of the Corvette review that uh, yeah. that intro that we recently had. That one went over a million, uh, so that was a great video for us. Thank you for watching. Um, but the channel's doing well, uh, and then after that is TFL Truck. Uh, that's down 10.2 mm -hmm. percent to 4.6 million uh, over the long term. That's been kind of holding steady between, let's say, five million to seven million views a month. Uh, and once again, that tends to live or die by what new trucks are introduced. Right. And so when the new uh, Silverado was introduced, it peaked, and now that we're kind of off that high, it's coming down a little bit. And yep. finally, Tommy, TFL Now, this channel. <laughs> yeah, TFL Now is not doing so hot. So we're down 36% this month. Uh, and, you know, there's a, a bunch of reasons for that. We've been putting a lot more of our reviews on car and truck. Um, but we're going to start pushing now again, Yeah. right? More content. And you'll see, like, uh, if you look at our, our progress graphs for our channels, it's up and down a lot every month. Yeah, so right. uh, it's 2.6 million, 36.4% down, yeah. which is yeah. which is ouch. But hopefully you're watching this, and maybe this video will help bring it back up. So, guys, there you have it, our very first boom or bust video. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoy this, if this is something that you find uh, newsworthy and interesting, because we want to do more of these. Uh, what's the next uh, group of uh, YouTube channels yeah, businesses so we're going to be talking about? I guess next we could look at you know some of like the more build channels. So yeah. B is for build, Tavarish, Goon Squad, yeah. you know, all these kind of channels. Mighty car mods, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that do car builds or you know restorations and stuff. Yeah, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see and if uh, this is something that you find interesting. And uh, you know, we did a little channel commercial mm -hmm. just to kind of help you understand what our five different channels are. So a little bit of selfless promotion. Let's roll that in the little closing seconds of this video. Yep, for sure. See you guys next time. Ciao.
Breaker 1-9. This is Bullseye. Welcome to the world's toughest truck drag race. I'm basically at the level of my waders now. That is a long ass time to film inside of a truck. Can we go home now? <laughs> Cue the cassette tape and start the 80s. Oh, no way! No way! No way! I can't believe it! Stay tuned for more news, views, and real world reviews. I'll see you next time. See you guys next time. Ciao.